Hello everybody, in this Rhino video tutorial, I would like to talk about distributing objects on a surface. Okay, let's start. Let's start by creating a base surface. Okay. And I'm going to use um, this command, the paraboloid, which is part under the surface creation to create our base surface. So I click on this, so ask me for paraboloid focus. So, uh, I want it to be in the center. Then ask you for the parabola direction. So I go to the front view and click somewhere around here. And then ask you for the end. So maybe going back to the top view. Yeah, so this is our base surface. Okay. What I'm going to do is to create a heart shaped object which will be distributed with varying sizes on this surface okay and in the process i will demonstrate the real revolve followed by the splot command okay so now i want to create the heart shape object okay which i'll do so using the control point curve for the base shape creation okay so let's go to the top view uh, click here so notice that the first and second point is horizontally aligned Okay. and same goes with the second last and the last point okay so this this uh, alignment here is to ensure that uh, when I do a mirror onto the other side that uh, these areas are tangentially smooth okay so let's do a bit of fine adjustments I'm going to put a point here so that when we go to another view we're able to see this point and also this point will aid in our uh, uh, creation of the cross-sectional profile for the heart okay so let's come back to the control point curve again okay I'm going to press and hold the shift key to turn on the auto so as to ensure that the first three control points are horizontally aligned okay and then make sure the object snap the point is turned on so that we're able to snap the last point to the point object okay okay so i've got this uh cross section profile mm. and let me just do a little bit of fine adjustment These three points have to be horizontally aligned to ensure that when we do the real revolve, uh, this part here will be smooth. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now <clears throat> let's do a mirror to create the other half of this curve. Click mirror, select object to mirror, start and end and okay, yeah. Let's join this together, okay. Using the join command, join these two curves together, okay. Maybe I want to do a little bit of adjustments. Okay. Now let's proceed to do the rail revolve. Okay, the rail revolve is part under the surface creation. Is this icon here? Uh, do not do a left mouse click. Instead, do a right mouse click. Okay, the left mouse click is the standard revolve. So, uh, right mouse click is the rail revolve. So, uh, do a right mouse click over here. So, as you select profile curve. So, these are profile curve. And select rail curve. This is our rail curve. Okay, then it asks you for the start of the real revolve axis. This is somewhat similar to our normal revolve okay? axis. So click here. Then let's go to the right view to, to click the other point, which is uh, vertically down. So I'm going to press and hold the shift key to turn on the temporary auto. 
and click down okay and then we'll be able to get our heart shape okay as you can see over here okay okay so now let's um <coughs> distribute this thing onto this uh, surface okay and to do that we will use the splot command okay the splot is actually parked inside here flow along surface you pull this out and you get this okay but before we proceed to do the splot i want to do one additional step which is to establish the center of the splot reference center okay and i'm going to use a point to establish the center okay so uh, let's click on the point and then ask you ask you for the location of the point object so i want to put it around here okay So this is our point, okay? But what I want is actually for the point to be more around here, okay? So I'm going to bring this down to be here, okay? So this will be our center. You notice that um, I actually leave a... I didn't bring this point all, all the way down, okay? So uh, it's a personal preference uh, of me to ensure that when I do the plot right, uh, there is enough... Uh, enough surface that will go below the sur the the main surface for me to be able to do a successful uh, trim. Okay, so uh, that's the reason for this point not going all, all the way down. Okay, but uh, it's a personal preference. Okay, so I think I'll bring it around here. Okay, yep. And if you were to look at this point, you notice that it's somewhat like around this area here. Okay. Let's uh, proceed to do our splot, okay? So let me reiterate, the splot is parked inside here. So click and hold, uh, click and then drag out, and it's this command. Or you can just type splot, S-P-L-O-P, okay? So, hmm. so I click on this, splot. So I select object to splot. So the object to splot is uh, this, this uh, heart shape object, and then enter. They ask me for center of reference sphere. So the center is the point that I've created. Okay. So make sure that your object snap the point is turned on so, uh, so that you're able to select the points location. So I click on this. Then it asks you for the radius. Okay. So you might want to go to a view where you can see the the object in its entirety uh, entirety correctly. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna press and hold the shift key. And make sure that the radius, uh, the the reference sphere, right, is uh, entirely covering your object. So I think uh, somewhere around here. Okay, click down. Okay, now it asks you to select surface to plot on. Okay, so the surface to plot on is our uh, this this object here. Okay, so I'm going to like turn the shading on. So so uh, sorry, survey so this is my surface so you can click on the location to drop your object so uh, this is my first drop point so click then you can just visually drag to get the size that you want okay and the and the direction so maybe i want one here like that okay and you can continue to like place the other instances other duplicates of this uh, object okay so I'm going to place like a few of these okay and as you can see the size is a uh, variable okay so I'm going to do one maybe 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 here okay maybe another one here Some smaller ones. Okay, I think I'm done already. Okay, and you can press enter to complete it. Okay. 
Okay, so let's um, let's um, go to surface uh, environmental map, and you can see that yeah, the objects has been nicely placed on the surface. If you turn on to the other side, you notice that because I'm uh, placing the center slightly uh, above, I'm able to like you know, have certain region that's uh, going into the main surface. Okay, this will make it easy for me to you know, trim away the excesses. Okay, so I can do things like the trim. So click on. Uh, in fact, I think a split will be a better option. So click the split okay so it asks you select object to split okay so the object to split will be all this stuff here okay okay so the object to split will be this stuff on the surface then enter cutting object will be our base uh, surface enter okay and then we will be able to you know, select those unwanted regions okay so these are the ones that we do not want Okay, I think I don't think I want to bore you with uh, this trimming work. Okay, um, you can basically you can do another tr uh, trim or split to remove these regions over here. Okay, yeah. Um, maybe I just just do a fast one to to show you. Okay, then after that we will uh, end this video. So uh, you can do uh, like a trim again. So as you a uh, cutting object. So um, example, this a uh, cutting object. Then enter object to trim so you can click on this uh, region here to remove away this okay so you should repeat for all of this okay yeah I think with that <clears throat> I come to the end of uh, this uh, video demo okay hope that has been useful to you see you around bye